Ready, lads? Three, two, one. Right, Steve, thanks for talking to us. What are your thoughts on pre-season performances and results? Uh, please, really. Um, I thought one game, uh, I thought the Enfield game uh, here, we sort of struggled a little bit. A little bit. Uh, uh, back didn't move the ball quick enough, didn't really uh, do what was expected. But apart from that, I think most of our games um, been really happy, especially the Orient game, which was a good test for us. I um, thought we'd done really, really well in that game. And overall, really pleased with the lads. Um, they're bought into what we're trying to do. Um, I said before before we kicked the ball, we didn't want to get beat in pre-season. So I think we've played six or seven games. I can't, I'm not sure what it is, really. Yeah, seven. Seven games. One four, drawn three. Yeah, so we haven't got beat, um, which is good. Which is good, because I said to them, we don't want to, you know, winning becomes an habit, losing becomes an habit. So we go seven unbeaten. Um, and going to Saturday's game on a, on, a, on a high. Yeah, and what have you seen from pre-season that means you'd like to change your preparations for matches for the upcoming season? Uh, not really, not really. I mean, we, we're talking about changing the way we play, playing three at the back, because uh, obviously we've got Hayes this year and then Ryan coming back from Dagenham. Um, so we're thinking about playing three at the back. Um, and obviously I bought in Green during the summer. Um, he played for me at Chelmsford so and Avery Swift. So, um, He's a great wing back. And obviously, Saturday getting injured was a, a real, real blow to us. Mm -hmm. um, but hopefully, I've managed to bring Ben Mormon in. I remember, you probably remember Ben from Cambridge yeah. last year. Yeah. So I've, I've friend Cambridge yesterday, and uh, they were, they were, we were having him back in. So he'll be in Thursday, and he'll be, he'll be available Saturday. So he'll slot in on a wing back. So um, yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll we'll buy into that, and um, we'll probably play three at the back Saturday. Um, but we, we, we've got the players now. We can play 4-3-3, four, 4-4-2, four, three, three, four, four, or 3-5-2. Three, three, so we're pretty well pretty well equipped in all places. And we've got strong competition with players. We've got 16, 17 boys signed. And I think the five boys that sit on the bench are all capable of playing in the team, So, which is great. Mm -hmm. And what are your targets for this season? Are you, were you looking at a cap run or focusing on the league? Uh, FA Cup final would be good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, look, I mean, uh, it'd, be, it'd be nice to get for a couple of rounds of the FA Cup, um, purely for, obviously, for financial gain as well. It's big for clubs like us. Um, but also, it, it, it gets interest around the place. If you get through a couple of rounds or three rounds, if you get through to the first round, then it's great, you know. I've been done, done it a couple of times, so... There's nothing better, really. Um, you're never going to win it, are you? But you've got to, you got—you live the dream. So we ask to get through a couple of rounds of that. But our main main objective is the league, obviously. Um, we were really unlucky to make, not to make the playoffs last year, I thought. A um, couple of games we just let ourselves down in, but overall, really, really unlucky not to make it. But I think this year, with the squad we've got, if we don't get too many injuries and we don't lose anyone, people coming in and nicking our players, then... I think we've got a real good chance. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure there's a few teams in the league that have strengthened, they've got a few more money, a bit more money than us, but with what the, pl the players we've got here, what I've got in, I think we've got a great chance. Mm -hmm. And obviously this season we're ground sharing with Enfield. How do you think both clubs will benefit from that? Um, good question, actually. Uh, I think, uh, as a club, I think we'll benefit from it. With them coming in, I mean, you can see what they've done so far with this place. Um, they've done it up, made it more attractable. Um, from a financial point of view, they're paying us so much a month to, to use the ground. So I can only think it's going to be positive. I mean, I don't, I don't mean this to be disrespectful. I don't think there's going to be many of their players that are capable of stepping up into our team. But we'll see. They're playing here tomorrow night. I shall come and watch them tomorrow night, and I'll have another look. But uh, if it does, great. But we might. It might help us where if we've got players injured and they're coming back from injury and they, we want them to play somewhere, they can go up to your reg and play for them, which might help us. So I don't think there's any negatives in it. I don't think it's going to do us any harm. It's not really going to affect the pitch anymore because we used to have the 23s on it last year, which we haven't got now. So it's not going to be beneficial to us on the pitch-wise. So, and I think as a club, having them around here, they've put fresh, 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 uh, breath of fresh air at the place, really. Mm -hmm. I think they're, they're good lads. So hopefully just positives, really. Mm -hmm. And what are your long-term plans for the club? 
long-term players for the club. Uh, blimey, I mean, look, it's non-league football's hard to predict, isn't it? One season to the next. I mean, you know, I think um, from where we was two years ago, um, you know, when we took over, obviously I got Kevin Watson in, and he had nearly double the budget that we got now. We come full from bottom. I like Kev. I like Kev, but. Um, didn't really do that brilliant, really. And then I brought Adam in last year. I know Adam, Adam and um, uh, Robbo for years, really. So, and I really thought they would do well. I really thought they would do well. Um, but that wasn't to be either. Uh, they just, they just didn't have it. I mean, you know, I was pulling the air out after four or five games. So, um, and in the end, I thought, you know, I'll do it myself. <laughs> and. Uh, Obviously, I had a word with Kuro, got him on board, and um, I've done it loads of times. I've done it at Chelsea, I've done it at Avery Swift. It's, it's a big commitment for me because I've got my own business as well, and I'll do it. And if I do it, I'll do it full on, I don't do it half hearted. So, um, I do have a lot of time with it, hours wise, you know what I mean? But long term, who knows? You know, I'm 62 this year, so I love football, I love this club, uh, really enjoying it. Um, Hopefully we'll have a really good season this year. We move on, and hopefully the club will move on with it. You know, I'd like to. What I'd like to do is try and pro probably get another 100, 150 people on them through the gate, so we can move on, so we can move the club forward. Um, but as non-league clubs go, and I've been at a few over the years, this is a good club, really good club, and um, yeah, I love it. Yeah. So if I didn't love it, I wouldn't be here. So right. yeah, it's good enough answer, isn't it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> you know, brilliant. all right. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you very all right, much. Mate. Thanks, mate. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Right, Mark, thanks for talking to us. What are your thoughts on pre-season performances and results? Uh, yeah, we had a disappointing performance against uh, Enfield at home. We had, we had a hard gym session on the Thursday. Um, and I think that took its toll and that showed out on the pitch. But then when we played Latin Orient the week after, the, the performance was brilliant. Uh, probably the performance that we want to start the season with. Um, well, I think we're a lot better when we we sort of keep the shape and then we attack and we can't attack. I think that's probably our best way this season because when I was here last season, the, the way we played that way was just so so much better than if we was on the ball more often than we're not. All right. And four wins and three draws from pre-season. Obviously, it's not all about the results, but the squad must be very happy with that. Yeah, it's, that's the thing. Pre-season, you, you always say this, the score, don't worry about the score, let's get the fitness. But you always want to. You don't want to lose five games and then start the season because it's, it gets a bad sort of morale in the change room. So you're always looking for a good result. Um, so yeah, I think pre-season has been well. And obviously, it's great confidence for the team ahead of the league opener on Saturday. Big, big, yeah, big, um, big belief in the change room that we can do it this year. Uh, we was close last year, um, just falling short. Um, and before I joined, the the, the guys said that. The start of the season, they they didn't win many games, um, so if we can take the momentum from last season and give it a real good push and a good start, then we'll be right up there. Mm -hmm. And what are your personal targets for the season? Well, yeah, last season was a real bad one for me, um, literally injury after injury. Um, so I, I want to get a good good run in the team, uh, get good 40, 50 games under my belt, um, and then see where that takes me. All right, brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you. Everyone. All right, Jamie, thank you for talking to us. How do you reflect on your individual performances in pre-season? Um, yeah, I've been okay, I would say. It's, I tend to really look for the fitness side of it and, you know, I suppose goals, you know, you want to be on form when you're going into a season. So I think I've covered everything that I, that I wanted to. I've got uh, enough game time in, in, in myself and managed to score a few goals along the way. So. Personally, yes, it's gone okay. You know, you just want to come through it injury-free and uh, you know be fit and ready to go for the start of the season. Mm -hmm. And you had some bad luck in front of goal against Women Ho. Were you thinking about what you said to me before pre-season about it's time to hang up the boots if the chances aren't going in? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think on that game it was more just uh, maybe a bit unfortunate, a bit uh, unlucky at times. I was in the right areas and probably on another day would have scored three mm -hmm. goals. So yeah, I wasn't too too concerned. You know, it's, it's one of those things. So um, I was happy after that because I managed to score a, a couple after that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, one of those games, you know, and 
it's just fortunate that it didn't happen to be a league game, so I, I probably wouldn't have been too happy with myself. Yeah, well, yeah, the team won 5 0 in the end. What's it like for an experienced player such as yourself to see the goals flying in, but when it's not your day? <laughs> uh, again, it's all right. You know, being sort of part of the management team, um, the, the team performance is, is always going to come first, so. Um, scoring every game and having sort of the chances I had and not scoring them was, was disappointing but you know like I say I was in the, the right places to get the opportunities and we managed to win five I was involved in some of the goals and I'll give a penalty to Spider because you know, I felt he needed a bit more confidence than I did mm -hmm. so um, yeah <clears throat> pre-season like I say isn't about me and you know me scoring loads of goals it's about uh, you know the team doing well and getting ready for the season so you know it wasn't too bad I think more people Sort of spoke to me about missing than, <laughs> than anything. So I think everyone expects they must have real high standards about me. Expect me to score every chance. <laughs> you know, it's not going to happen. And like I say, if it was a league game, I'd have been a lot more disappointed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, with your goal against Royston, um, would, would it be fair to say that you saved all your luck for that one? I think so. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think I deserved that one after missing a few on the Saturday. I think I took three attempts to score on, on the Tuesday night. So. Yeah, I was, I was pleased, you know, again, it was nice to, to get the, the, the opportunities and I think for me, I'm always confident that if I get chances, I'll take them. Um, whether I'm missing, I'll, I'll always feel confident of the, the next chance. So the important thing for me is <clears throat> getting the opportunities and, and all pre-season, I've had opportunities in every game. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, that's, that's the important thing for me because I, like I say, I'm confident that, you know, if I get, get enough opportunities, I'll score, I'll score a few goals. Mm -hmm. And you got two quick goals against Histon, mm. and obviously you nearly got a hat trick when it was the ball was just trickling towards the line. What were you thinking then? Yeah, I was, I, well, I was. I wouldn't say disappointed, but I thought it was it had enough legs to go in. Um, I still think it might have crossed the line. I have sort of said to Ben, <laughs> who was running it, I don't know if you kept up with play there. Um, <laughs> I blame the groundsman because the grass was quite long, and I think <laughs> on a normal pitch it would have rolled in. Um, but that sort of sums my left foot up. I, I didn't catch it properly, and you know. It's a shame because it would have been nice, you know, to score three goals would have been great, but we won the game, I managed to get two good goals. Um, and again, I say, you know, I'm in, in the right place at the moment, mm -hmm. getting the chances. So, uh, yeah, like I say, the pre-season has been good for me so far. Mm -hmm. And from uh, from your from the players' point of view, what's the feeling like in the dressing room ahead of the first league match? Yeah, it's been good. I think it's, it was important to keep all the players together from last year, or as many as we did. So I think coming back... Everyone felt comfortable, everyone knew everyone. Um, there was a good atmosphere from, from last year. And then we've sort of carried that on in pre-season. So our form from last year, apart from the last game of the season, we've then carried that on through pre-season where we've, we've remained unbeaten. Got some real good results. So um, everyone's sort of happy and, and, and seems sort of buzzing for the start of the year, I think. Mm -hmm. Especially how it ended last year, I think, because we've kept everyone, I think, not so much a point to prove, but I think we feel that, you know, we've got a very good chance of do, doing well again this year. Mm -hmm. One of your fans from Hong Kong, David, got yeah. in touch. Hello, David. He said, how many goals are you targeting um, for this season? He's saying you've been in great form in pre-season already. I don't, well, I don't... I say I don't like to set targets, but I think if I play the season, so if I play 40-plus games, then I suppose in my head I'd be expecting to score 20 goals and above. So the aim for me really nowadays at my age is to play and be fit for every game and play as many games as possible. Uh, and if I do that... You know, I tend to normally get a one in two, so you know the aim will be is play forty plus games, and the target will be twenty plus goals again. Yeah. All right, brilliant. Thank you very much. No problem. Hi, Jim. Thanks for talking to us. Thoughts? What are your thoughts on pre-season performances and results? Uh, we've had a really good pre-season. Uh, we're really happy with how things have gone. Um, undefeated, which obviously is really important. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that will give us a, a, a you know a massive amount of confidence. Um, you know, going into the start of the season on Saturday. So, yeah, we're really happy with how things have gone, the formations we've tried. Um, we've been impressed with what the boys have showed us, um, you know, and, and they've been able to grab hold of the information that we wanted them to, to take in. And, and so, yeah, looking at everything as a whole, we're really pleased with how it's gone and we're just itching to get going on Saturday now. Mm -hmm. When it was 2 2 at half time against Histon, what was your message to the players for the second half? Just the same as it always is, it, it, you know. Don't get complacent. Um, it's just the small details, you know. Make sure you remember what we spoke about before the game, uh, things that we go through, the way we want to do things, and not to panic. We never really panic at half time. There's no need to, you know. We just reiterate to our messages and and be a little bit more fine tuned on detail, what we expect, and maybe shuffle about, you know, a little bit of uh, different players in different positions on occasions. But other than that, just go out, play your natural game, and, and it will come. The result will come for us. We're we're, we're always confident. 
Now, obviously, that match was coming off the back of 5 0 and 3 1 wins against yep. Wivenhoe and Royston. How do you keep the players motivated and focused when you say complacency could easily set in? I think. I think there's a little bit of self motivation from them. I don't really think we need to to motivate them as such. You know, they're all they're good lads. They've most of them have played at a good level, some higher than others. So I think they motivate themselves, and I understand that for us to have a successful season, you know, pre-season needs to be, we need to be on it. We need to be focused, and um, so I don't think it's too much really needs to come from us as such. It's it's more just getting in, sorting out a couple of little things, and then and then they go out, they're pumped and they're motivated for the second half. So. And what, if anything, has changed about your preparations for matches from what you've seen in pre-season? Um, not a great deal. As I say, we tried we tried a new formation. We tried three at the back, and for the first couple, um, we had to tweak a few bits and pieces. And and now it looks quite fluid. And I think moving forward, it could be a formation that we start with. Um, so yeah, it's not it's not been a great deal of change to be honest. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing to seeing us play it on the Saturday. And hopefully, you know, the things that we've worked on in training will come through. All right, brilliant. Thank you very much. No problem. Cheers. Thanks very much.